Hello everyone, this is Jake from Down the Weeboo Hole, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. If you ever find yourself scrolling through the VP board on 4chan, you might see this image floating around. It's a Tentaquil. The first time Tentaquil was seen was during a Draw Your Favorite Pokemon Without Looking thread on July 22nd, 2010. An anonymous poster posted this image, and when asked what it was supposed to be, the poster replied that, it's a Tentaquil. Tentaquil is a large blue frog fakemon with a large yellow swirl on its stomach. It looks like it could be a member of the Poliwag family line, but its name seems to be a combination of both Tentaquil and Cyndaquil. Tentaquil easily gained meme status after its initial reveal. Hours after its creation, Tentaquil would receive multiple fan drawings and ROM hacks featuring Tentaquil as the player's starter Pokemon. Tentaquil would also be featured in Pokemon Clover, a ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red based on 4chan culture. According to this hack, Tentaquil is a bug psychic legendary Pokemon. It has the immune ability, which prevents poisoning. Tentaquil also has a base stat of 600 and is able to learn every TM in the game. Surprisingly, even though it's a psychic type, it doesn't learn any psychic moves from leveling up, but it does have its signature move, Puke Blood, a powerful bug move that also damages the user. Tentaquil was also used to troll people into believing it was an actual Pokemon during the time leaks of Pokemon Black and White were appearing, which helped make it the most popular Fakemon. This notoriety eventually led to Tentaquil appearing in Scribblenauts Unlimited in 2012, which I find is just insane that a Fakemon appears in a licensed video game. But what makes Tentaquil so special is that it might not be a Fakemon at all. In 2018, a full ROM of the Space World 1997 demo for Pokemon Silver and Gold was discovered, and found in this ROM was a plethora of designs for never-before-seen Pokemon and beta designs for existing Pokemon. One of these beta designs was for Politoed. If we compare this design with Tentaquil, we can definitely see some similarities. The most apparent is the large spiral on its stomach, and how the two share the same physical build. This got people speculating that perhaps the original creator of Tentaquil saw this early beta design of Politoed during Space World 1997 and drew it from memory. This would explain the inconsistencies between the two designs. Perhaps Tentaquil's eyes are actually just beta Politoed's nostrils. I personally think that the original poster who drew Tentaquil is from an alternate timeline where the beta designs for Pokemon Silver and Gold are used in the final product, and the original poster opened a warp hole, entered our timeline, drew Tentaquil for us, and then left back to their own timeline. Why would someone do this? I have no idea. Maybe they just wanted to leave a relic from their timeline for us to see. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire bring up this idea that there could be alternate timelines in Pokemon. So perhaps, Game Freak has discovered a parallel timeline to our own and is using Pokemon to show their discovery to the general public. I don't think people are prepared to learn about the existence of an alternate timeline just yet. There's also this other theory where the original poster just drew Tentaquil and it has no relation to anything, but that seems a little too far-fetched. Thanks for watching my video everyone. Let me know what your theories about Tentaquil are in the comments below. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to join our Discord if you want to talk about Pokemon or any other anime. Take care everyone.